guys, I hope you're all doing great, staying home, staying safe, and staying healthy. So for today's video, I wanted to talk about the making of my latest short film, More Than a Dream. I say latest because I feel like my first short film was Why I Hate Cancer. Links to both videos in the description below. I had to throw a filter on this so the background wouldn't look so bad. Um, I know I kind of look a little dark right now, so I'm just going to fix it in post. Um, and just so people know, I actually forgot my mic at home, so I'm recording off the camera right now. So going back to the videos, I'm really proud of, of both of the videos that I was able to accomplish um, for their message, but even more for their visuals. Um, it's so amazing that you can... Uh, gr grab an idea and just make a, a very impactful message um, but it's even better when you can put visuals that make the story sound and look even better I really hope you guys enjoyed the video by no means am I the best storyteller but I really love going through the process and just seeing the final product I gotta try not to step on poop here it's all over so it says field closed but it looks like someone already tried to get in. Pretty weird. And no, it wasn't me. See, someone already tried closing it. So let's talk about the process. Not so much the story, but the process um, of the film. So the opening shots with the train tracks and then me riding the train, um, those two shots were shot at different times, um, different days, actually different cities. Um, and movies do this all the time. They always make you believe that they're shooting in certain spots on certain days but sometimes it could be multiple days when they're shooting these and it, it could also be multiple locations when they're shooting these. As I was planning shots and locations I really wanted to pay homage to my elementary school so um, that was one of the other shots that I added. Uh, now let's talk about this school and let's talk about the structure and the students. Um, the kids that we're sending to these schools are our future. So therefore, looking at this building and just remembering a lot of things, I think it's really important that we give better structures, better environments for our students, you know? Um, I remember when I was a kid going into, going to this school, there wasn't any AC units there. And I actually didn't have AC until college um, being in college um, but yeah I mean from elementary to high school there was no AC um, so I'm I was kind of surprised to see that they had AC units hanging out of these buildings but I mean just thinking about it like man you know we need to give our students better environments better locations so they can study and focus um, and not just environments obviously better education as well better teachers um, better pay for the teachers so we have a long way to go so let's talk about the second thing I really wanted to get this really cool shot of this flagpole that they had there while the Sun was going up um, but unfortunately the school is really close to an airport so the drone couldn't even fly around there so that was really unfortunate but otherwise I really thought here, no shadow here I really thought that you know I did a pretty decent job at this school um, so really happy about that yeah I figured that you guys can probably see my shadow on the floor so yeah doing this handheld um, so anyways let's talk about the next shot the one by the lake you know flying my drone over the lake um, let's talk about for those uh, drone pilots let's talk about how scary it is to fly a drone over a body of wa a water I don't know if it's just me um, but I get scared all the time all the time um, maybe because <laughs> I've been scarred um, so the first time I had a drone I had the DJI Phantom 1 and um, I took it to a forest preserve near where I lived and um, I flew it up um, 
over these trees. And mind you, these, these drones, they didn't come with an attached camera. You had to have like a GoPro attached to the bottom of it. I don't know if you guys remember those. Um, so yeah, so I flew it over these trees and because I couldn't see what I was filming because that was another thing. Like there was, from what I recall, there was no way of like having, being able to see what you were recording. Um, those drones were a pain in the butt. So anyways, I'm flying over these trees and then they hit the branches and the thing just, it just comes crashing all the way down. And it was just crazy. And then um, where it landed, it, there was all this tall grass. So I, I had to go get it, you know? So yeah, I mean, I was scared. I'm like, I don't think I wanna find a snake. I don't think I wanna find ticks. I don't want to find anything. I just want to find my drone and I want to get out of there. And so, yeah, I think I was scarred from that. And then another thing that I remember was um, with my buddy Anthony. And this might have been another drone. Um, I had the DJI Phantom 3 Advanced. And um, that drone, we flew it inside a house. And yeah. Uh, Tony, you probably remember that. It was not the best thing to do. Clearly, it was not the best thing to do. Okay, I got a little sidetracked there with the with the whole drone stuff. Man, carrying this camera is really heavy. Um, but anyways, I, I, I just love flying drones. Um, just, you know, learning and whatnot. But, um, so let's talk about the drone footage that I got over by Lincoln Park Zoo. I remember when I went to the city and I was getting this footage, I got to Lincoln Park Zoo. And I crossed over the Lakeshore Drive um, bridge and when I looked over there was a police like hanging out over there and I was like mm, I don't think I want to get in trouble today so I decided to just walk my happy self back I have no idea where I'm at so there's that way and then there's that way and then where I came from so I think I'm just gonna go back um, anyways um, yeah, so I saw the police and I'm like, I'm not trying to get in trouble today. So I walked my happy self back across the bridge and um, I just got footage from there. You know, I'm like, I'm flying a drone. Um, I don't think I uh, need to go across the bridge. I can just get the footage from where I'm at. So that's what I did. And it's really stunning footage. Um, it's probably my favorite footage in the whole video um, besides the talent stories um, but it's really good footage so I really hope you guys enjoyed that all right so let's talk about the talent first off rounds of applause for them they did such a great job sharing their stories um, I guess what I wanted you guys to also know about this is that no one's originally from America. We're all from different places. Our families came from different places and that's what makes America great. So you'd be surprised to hear all these stories around us of people, um, you know, telling their story about how they came to America, how their families came to America. I mean, people coming from like Europe, people coming from Africa, people coming from Asia, people coming from Latin America. I mean, we're from all over the place, you know? Um, I think talking about borders is a whole different subject, something I don't want to get into today. Um, but it's just amazing how we all have a story to tell. Um, whether it be stories about immigration or stories about life, you know, filmmaking, the process, whatever, you know, it may be. Um, there's a bunch of stories we can tell. Um, and it's just amazing that we're able to do this um, through video, you know, through video, through uh, writing books, uh, writing songs, so many different ways. Um, but it's just about getting yourself out there, um, putting your creative talents out there and just doing your thing, man. So, you know, let's make 2020 great. You know, besides the fact that we're going through this whole pandemic situation with COVID-19, Let's, let's make the best of it, man. Hey, so let me know in the comments below whether you like my short film or not. Um, or if you have like any, any short immigration stories you'd like to share with the rest of us, man. I'd really love to read them. Otherwise, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. You guys, see you in the next one.